today we're in Munich, Germany, and we're heading for the Hofbräuhaus. Continuing where we left off in our video series, we are in Munich, Germany, walking around, kind of uh, making our way over towards the famous Hofbräuhaus right there. Uh, this is one of those uh, landmarks in Munich that's been around for just hundreds of years, and it's uh, world famous. This was the original location, and now they've uh, they have added additional locations in major cities all throughout the world, but this was the one that started it all right here. Apologies for the uh, shaky footage. Um, this was kind of a combination of a little Sony 4K camcorder and a GoPro, and uh, neither one of them handle of uh, movement very well. Uh, this was prior to us purchasing the uh, GoPro 7s, which we'll be using on uh, future trips. So here we go. We entered the uh, world-famous Hofbra House. I uh, hope I'm saying that correctly. To so give you a look at the inside of this, uh, definitely has a very um, quote-unquote German feel to it. You know, kind of cool, uh, very thick walls, just a really solidly built building uh, from, you know, centuries ago. And, you know, you sort of get the feeling that, that this thing has, has definitely seen some history uh, over the many decades and, and, you know, years and so forth. And, uh, of course, world famous for the beer. Um, for us, this was middle of the afternoon. So we weren't really planning on eating dinner per se, but we definitely wanted to come in and, and sample the beer. And uh, admittedly, we did not know about the pretzels, at least I didn't, until we got there. And we were about to sit down, and uh, then we noticed uh, the girls walking around selling the pretzels. So that was really, really cool. And we ended up uh, getting a couple of beers and uh, a couple of the pretzels. I think we got two pretzels, yeah, one each. And as you can tell, the, the beers are quite large. And um, we had a pretty good selection of the beers. Uh, you know, see the menus right there. A lot of food on the menu as well. It is a full-blown restaurant, but again, this was kind of middle of the afternoon, so we were just there really for the beer and the pretzel. So if you look out there on the patio area, you see a girl over there holding her cart. She's uh, one of the ones selling the pretzels. Uh, if I remember correctly, they were about five euros each. They were very large, and uh, they had a couple of different types of sauces that you could get with them. So uh, it wasn't too expensive, you know, about five euros for uh, a piece, I think, for this, the pretzels. Um, my wife got uh, one of the darker beers. I got a light beer. I think those were three or four euros each, which is very cheap, considering, you know, these are big, proper pints of German beer, you know, in a true, you know, setting you see here. It's kind of a beautiful layout. It's uh, perfect weather out outdoors, so you had a lot of people out on the patio, and then, of course, it was just as crowded inside. And keep in mind, this is kind of like middle of the afternoon, just um, uh, maybe a, like a Monday or something. So, you know, this is a world famous location. Uh, so if you're ever coming to Munich, you definitely want to make sure you check this place out. There's a uh, gift shop up towards the front, kind of by the main entrance. So uh, as you come in the main entrance, uh, it's, I think it's to the right. And uh, my wife and I both bought a couple of shirts. Um, <laughs> I had a couple of problems with the shirts. One of the shirts that I bought, I really, really liked the, the design on the front of the shirt, but I didn't realize at the time, and this is my fault, that it was a long sleeve shirt, not a short sleeve shirt. So I got it back home and I'm like, okay, I can't wear this because I don't, I can't deal with long sleeve shirts. So I ended up having to give that one over to a friend. And then the short sleeve shirt that I bought, I bought an extra large but there are huge size differences between a large slash extra large, et cetera, et cetera, in Europe versus in the United States. An extra large in the United States would be like, uh, like a medium over there. So you have to get like, you have to really go crazy with the sizes over there in order to get it to scale up to what you expect it to be over in the US. So like, for instance, I thought I was getting an extra, an extra large. I probably should have gotten like uh, at least a double XL, maybe even a triple XL for it to be a proper extra large that we would buy here in the United States. So if you're from the U.S. and you're heading over to Europe, kind of keep that in mind because we saw that everywhere, uh, all through Germany. I think we even saw it a little bit over in the Czech Republic with some of the shirts we purchased over there as well. So uh, this guy was out here when we came out. 
this was kind of entertaining for a few minutes to uh, to watch him and uh you'll see here in a second a little crowd gathers around him and i think yes this was a group of people that were all sort of traveling together uh so that was kind of fun to watch and um here we are right here so he has some fun with them here in a minute if you look on the left side of the screen, you might notice in the background, we thought this was kind of uh, ironic. The name of that building is Orlando House, Orlando Haas or something like that. And we're from Orlando, Florida. So we thought that was uh, kind of ironic. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that and hit that bell notification so that uh, every time I post a video, you'll know about it. So at this point in the afternoon, we've had our beer, we've uh, stopped by the world-famous Hofbrauhaus, and now we're just kind of wandering around, and um, we were on a very tight schedule in Munich, uh, kind of throughout our entire Germany trip, actually. We were only really in Munich for three nights, and this day right here, that morning, we were actually in Frankfurt, and so we spent the morning, you know, a few hours in the morning taking the train from Frankfurt down to Munich. So by the time we get to Munich, it's already like around the middle of the day, and the next day we were doing a day-long excursion going over to the castles to see some of those and then the day after that we do a full day excursion going to salzburg austria and then the next day we're in the airport heading over to prague so this afternoon was really our only chance to sort of get a ch you know to walk around and sort of see the munich area and there's so much to see in munich that that we didn't even scratch the surface of what we were what we were kind of seeing i mean there were areas other parts of the city that would have required like a, a taxi drive or taxi ride to get over to them you know because they're farther away and this was just the immediate uh, area that we could walk to from our hotel which was over by the main train station so um one of the things for us is always that whole you know we're going to be in a certain city for a couple of days what do we do uh you know do we try to just block off a certain amount of time to just walk around and see everything or do we pre-purchase some big excursion that goes somewhere for a day or a half day or X number of hours or so on. And the Bavaria region of Germany has so many wonderful things to see. And of course, there are some major castles. So we decided, well, we're going to, we got to see the castles. So that takes kind of a full day. And there was a chance because of the geography, there was a chance to go into Austria for the day and see Salzburg and, and tour over there. And so we couldn't we could pass that up so this really only left an afternoon to explore munich and uh it's just one of those i wish we had more time but uh, maybe we uh, end up going back to germany at, at a future date and we get a chance to see a little bit more of the city well straight ahead is museum to the right i don't know and there's tiffany and company and rolex should you want to purchase said items so at the time when we were walking around i didn't realize that this was kind of a famous landmark um i had to look it up afterwards as uh, i was doing some prep work for this video in order to uh kind of look this up and figure out what landmark this was so at the time we're just kind of wandering around and google maps is sort of directing us to go to certain places we had looked at ahead of time and kind of scouted out but uh, I don't think this was one of them. We just sort of stumbled across this one after we had, had finished uh, with our beers at the Hofbrauhaus. If you've ever been to Munich, Germany, or you're planning on going, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to drop a comment below.
So one of the things we wanted to check out was uh, this statue that had a lot of uh, Michael Jackson uh, memorabilia that's around the base of it. And so we're sort of making our way over there, and somehow we end up in this mall. I guess Google Maps, you see me looking at my phone there, Google Maps is basically trying to tell us, you know, go this way, go this way, and we're trying to follow the walking directions. And unless I made a wrong turn somewhere, it basically had us cutting through this mall to get where we were going. So here's a quick look at a mall in uh, Munich, Germany. Thank you very much for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post a new video.